Yo, this is Deontay DeBron from a while, the WBC heavyweight champion of the world. And I'd like to give a big shout out to CJ Goodfellow from Sports TV. Bomb Squad, baby. All right, man, we back. Good fella, Sports TV. What you just seen here was Andy Ruiz. I guess it's his birthday. Drinking on some Patron, drinking some liquor. Let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. And yes, Andy Ruiz is supposed to be fighting Chris Ariola. I believe it's supposed to fall on Fox. And you can see Andy Ruiz is still not taking training serious. How do you call yourself a professional athlete? And you're supposed to be working out and preparing for... Probably one of the biggest fights of your career because if you lose to Chris Ariola, shit, man, your career going to the shadow realm. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, it, you know, if I'm Canelo trainer, I'm not training no dude out here that's an alcoholic. You know what I'm saying? That's out here drinking and don't respect his temple as an athlete. You know, Andrew Ruiz, you can see why he lost to AJ. You know what I'm saying? And obviously, I don't like the way he moved regardless how he did Manny Robus. He was dead broke when he bought his way out of top rank, for what I understand. And Manny Robles gave his family a place to stay, and then you get on, and then you fat, you lazy, you drinking, you eating, and then you blame Manny Robles and not training. And you blame Manny Robles for you losing to Andy to AJ in the second fight. You know what I'm saying? Andrew Weeds, you just sell no maturity, uh, and that's the issue. It ain't that he can't fight temptation, probably. He just had no maturity as a fighter. He has no discipline, you know, to be out here drinking liquor and you about to fight Chris Ariola. I mean, it's like a, a, a present you looking at a future you when you look across the ring at Ariola. Ariola was known for doing the same shit. No discipline. You know what I'm saying? Drinking, eating, all that other stuff. Hella nice guy from anybody you ever talked to who met the guy. But, you know, you can see why Ariola never reached his potential. You can see why... Andrew Weeds will probably be never be champion again. And what's so funny about it, the dude is, you know, laughing at Dillian White getting knocked out. And that's cool. We all have some fun with that. But then you turn around on your birthday and you on the boat taking off guard pictures like a brawl, like Instagram thought. And then you out here taking shots and drinking. And I don't care if you're fighting until December or November, you supposed to be getting yourself together. If I'm Canelo trainer, Eddie Renasso, I won't train that guy. You know, I wouldn't train him. You know what I'm saying? You supposed to be out here. You doing all this working out, but you defeating the purpose. Eating liquor, drinking. I mean, uh, drinking liquor, eating all that bullshit, man. Andrew Weeze ain't gonna be shit. You know what I'm saying? Andrew Weeze be lucky if he have the longevity in the career. You know, after winning the world title that uh that Aunt, that Chris Ariola had. You know what I'm saying? And that's just the god honest truth on the situation, man. But you know that was that was that was I was looking at that man. Yeah, I was like, dog, are you serious? This dude still ain't woke up, you know what I'm saying? And maybe had he got put to sleep by AJ, maybe he would have woke up, you know, with a different mindset. But he ain't got no ambitions on being world champion again. He ain't got no ambitions on, on, on top of the world again. He won't do it regardless. He ain't ambitious enough. He ain't focused enough. He ain't disciplined enough. And better off, the top thing is he don't have no maturity, you know what I'm saying? He's a very, very immature individual, you know what I'm saying? And, and that's just what it is. If he came to train, had that same fire and hunger he had in the first fight in versus AJ, he would have probably beat AJ again. But he didn't care about beating AJ. That man made about twenty some million dollars between two fights, and guess what? All that shit gonna be gone. You could tell he buying chains, he buying all this shit that depreciate. All that money gonna be gone. Watch what I tell you. Whatever he brought home, you know, fucking with Al, which probably he brought home, brought home a lot of money. That shit gonna be gone. And then a lot of these dudes got got fathers that be there that can't control them, who who, who opinion doesn't matter. You know, Andrew Reed sitting there and, and and they can't get this dude in the gym. He in the street partying, showing up to the gym late, not wanting to train. Like, come on, that just lets you know how he was raised. And with that mindset and with that discipline, he can't be no boxer. You don't be surprised if Ariel don't knock his dick in the dirt. Even though I doubt, I think Andy Weeze is just too fresh and too young at this point. He can drink all the liquor he want to drink. But you want to know why he looked the way he looked versus AJ and why he looked the way he do, he looked like that? This motherfucker drinking Patron and taking shots and all. And then putting it on the internet, man. You know you're going to get backlash. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? If Wilder lose, that's probably going to be his biggest fight. 
if Wilder continue on, which I don't understand why Wilder would continue on as a as a fighter, but you know, if Wilder lose to Fury again, that'll probably be his biggest fight. If Wilder continue to scrap on, which personally I wouldn't. Okay. Um he should make a nice amount of money if they allow fans again. And Wilder should be able to retire, you know, comfortably. Because what's the point? You can't beat Tyson Fury. AJ never fight you. You know, come on. It's no, you know, Fury not going to fight you a fourth time. I mean, you know, so Andy Ruiz might be his biggest fight. But, I mean, this is what Andy does. This is what Andy want to do. You know, and once again, you know, you just got to wonder, you know, where's motivation lies? Andy Ruiz going to be one of the motherfuckers 40 years old still trying to fight. He gonna be like Ariola. When him and Ariola do their face off, he gonna be looking into his future. Real talk. He he immature, dude. Very immature. I hear dream like 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 niggas be selling they celebrating their birthday like bitches. Straight up and down. These dudes be celebrating their birthday like women. Oh my god, it's my birthday. I gotta get drunk again. Like, come on, man. You got a job to do. Once you not carry Ariola dick in the dirt. Once you get another shot at the title and win the title, then you can you can semi celebrate and relax. But Andy Ruiz ain't gonna be shit. We know that. Getting drunk and then putting on Instagram, taking shots, and that dude's a loser, man. Real talk. The way he did Manny Robes, I can't respect that. Boxing trainers get disrespected the most, and that, and, and 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 that's and that's and that's facts. They get the most disrespect. But hey, let me know what you think about uh, Andy Ruiz out here drinking Patron. I think he's celebrating his birthday. He on boats. Then he posts these these pics of, of him working out and doing the resistance bands and doing uh, crunches and push ups and, and all this other shit he doing. And you you wonder you wonder why Andy Ruiz looked the way he looked. He ain't got no definition, or he ain't getting more uh, tight in the stomach, or he ain't getting more chiseled in the chest, or you want to know why the way he looked the way he looked is because what he doing outside the ring ain't no discipline. And when you ain't got to make weight, man, you don't, as long as you, you could just show up and be you. You know, you could just show up and be you. And then that's just the, the God honest truth about the situation for him. So, you know, no discipline, you know, and I don't think he got the fire. He ain't gonna have that fire to that money look, get low. That Bank of America account got six figures. When they, when they get that alert, he down to six figures. Then he going to try to get serious. And by the time he try to get serious again, he not going to be able to rev that engine up no more. So, yeah, man, it, it's unfortunate to see that dude, you know, out here. And now you see why, you know, he is in the position that he's in. Because he ain't got no discipline. You want to know why he looked the way he looked? That way, so I can't take him serious as no heavyweight contender no more, man. But let me know what you guys think. Don't forget, we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out if you have a business question, inquiry, response, ship, video request. Keep sharing the videos. Want to make a donation to the channel? Cash App, PayPal in the description. CJ Good 313 is the Cash App, PayPal link, Cash App in the description if you missed it. Best way to donate is to share the video for your boy. Don't forget to check out our heavyweight boxing playlist so we can continue to talk about the heavyweight drink and tequila in between their fights. Uh, one time for the one time, it's your boy CJ Goodfella, Goodfella Sports TV. We gone.